Hi Virgo, welcome to Terribly Accurate. This is your love reading for November 7th through December 7th. I can't believe we're already this far into the year. Um, this is for couples and singles, both. And this is if your sun sign is Virgo, if your moon sign is Virgo, if your Venus sign is Virgo, if your rising sign is Virgo. And then also if you're looking at somebody who has Virgo, um, any of those places as well. If maybe your partner is or your crush, just to kind of get a feel for what's going on for them. Now, um, I appreciate all of you showing up to watch this, so if you liked the video, if you found it helpful, please like it, um, subscribe so you don't miss ones in the future, and um, share them with your friends if you think they're useful to them. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of your nice comments, all of that. A lot, a lot of love for you, Virgo. So, we're gonna start actually with couples. I feel called to start with couples today, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, so feel free to skip ahead if you're not in a relationship or you're not somewhere in between, on again, off again. So what's going on for Virgo couples in regards to love this month, November 7th through December 7th? Um, you may not be feeling super emotionally fulfilled in your relationship right now. Um, but, you know, it's less about your relationship and just more about you not having enough time to rest. It's more about not sleeping enough, things like that. It, it's kind of just like an overall crabbiness. It, there's been a lot of negative energies, you know, with um, the election and things like that. So it could be that. <laughs> it could be worry and stress is kind of what I'm feeling as well. Um, it's saying, though, feel confident within your relationship, though, okay? Um, I want to get a clarifier on this one because I don't know if this is you or your partner. Okay, okay. So this is what I'm, this is what I'm getting. If you are to get more rest, and it's so easy to say, just stop worrying because, you know, worrying doesn't change things, and a lot of what we worry about doesn't actually happen. Um... I recognize it's not that easy, <laughs> but what this is saying is, um, you know, if you can try to stop worrying about the relationship, that's going to be really, really great for you. You're seen by your partner as a very, um, like, kind of say all be all for a lot of you. Now, this is a general reading, but a lot of you are with somebody who looks at you like, wow, that person is amazing. They're so, they're the sunshine of my life. They're so smart. They're so brilliant. Um, they're funny. Like, they're beautiful. Okay? They really just see you that way. So organized. So everything I could ever want. And they make me really, really happy. Um, but now others of you are, if you haven't been feeling emotionally fulfilled for a long time and it's not related to taking, um, just to need to get more sleep and and kind of like let go of daily stressors, it's that you're ready to move on. Okay, now I feel like that could be some of you, uh, more of you that are in between, um, where you're kind of back and forth with a relationship. And this is just saying like, even though there is love there, um, you want something more. You know, there's eight cups here. You're going off in search of 10, thinking maybe the grass is greener on the other side and, you know, kind of following your gut instincts and and going out searching for that now, and that's okay. Now you have a number message here, so I'm just gonna pull it up. And um, it's about the Ascended Masters, I know that for sure, but yeah, okay, it says, you're completely surrounded, protected, loved, and guided by the benevolent Ascended Masters. So that's like Jesus, Buddha, Moses, um, Archangels, um, some of them. So so um, if that's where you're at, if this is what you've been thinking about, if you're um, in search of finding your own confidence and happiness, if you're just not finding it in your relationship anymore, it is a good time to, to move on or um, to start talking about that, okay? Get some sleep first so that you can do it from a place that isn't aggressive, okay? Um, but for the rest of you, it's more of just kind of leaving that stress and anxiety behind. That's the tricky thing with um, general readings is that we're doing this for the majority of Virgos or um, people who will be watching the video. So sometimes it can go either way. Uh, what else for Virgos this month? Um, okay, so those of you who do have like thoughts and anxieties that are inhibiting you, um, stressors from getting some sleep, you're you're at 
a lot of that is accurate. Like what, whatever it is that you're fearing, there's likely reason to have it. It's not that it's, um, it's not that it's unwarranted, you know, goodness, another number message for you. I guess your angels have a lot to tell you. <laughs> and, um, this message just says, you know, by putting spirituality, God, Allah, Jesus, um, the universe, whatever your religious beliefs are, like at the center of your life, everything is going to change for you and it's going to change for the better. And, um, it doesn't always feel that way, right? Cause change is hard, but it's saying that this is for your highest good, that these are the answers to your prayers, to what you've been putting out into the world, um, with your thoughts and that God is really protecting you and supporting you. And that's awesome news because <laughs> especially if you were, um, one of those, that is leaving a relationship, we need that reassurance because change is so hard and scary, right? Oh, Ace of Wands. So this is like, you know, really, really super reassuring you that the next thing is um, going to be fun and light and a new adventure and, you know, full of blessings and growth. It's the Ace of Wands card it has way more buds on it than many of the other wands cards do. So that just means like um, growth, okay? So um, if you are walking away from an old relationship, from a relationship that you've been in and um, you're worried about what's next, you know, it's saying whatever's next, whether it comes soon or it comes later as far as a new partner or if it's just a new adventure, like if it's just being single for a while, that is um, something that is going to be wonderful for you. It really will be. Okay, anything else for Virgo couples? Okay, how wonderful. Now, this is kind of, this is better than kind of what I had hoped that we would see here because I was feeling like, goodness, you know, not all Virgos are, are doing that right now. So let's, let, hopefully let's get some messages for those of you who are um, going to remain coupled, like that, that it didn't resonate for you. Now, for those of you who are in relationships and don't feel that way, this is very, very likely your soulmate. And after you get a little bit of that rest, which is definitely needed, um, you could feel deeper bonding and emotional attachment, okay? Like just really showing each other love. Now, for the rest of you that are walking away, it's quite likely that your soulmate is near, that they're coming very soon. Now, could it be the next person that you walk towards? Absolutely. Might, might it not be? It's possible, but they're, they're soon, they're close and um, that it's necessary in order to find that soulmate to do what you're doing. Um, so this is saying regardless of whether you are in a healthy coupled relationship where you are with your soulmate or if you're about to leave a relationship um, and walk towards something new, it's saying, you know, celebrate that. That's the best attitude to have right now is to celebrate it. To just say, I'm so excited, I'm so happy for whatever's coming next into my life because I know it's going to be wonderful. Or I'm so um, happy to be with the love of my life. You know, I love them, I cherish them, and I'm so lucky. And really expressing gratitude for that. Um, <laughs> oh. So the angels are saying here, um, for those of you who don't know, that's the way that I read. I channel angel messages, what it is that they want you to know. Um, so they're saying, oh no. Now, some of you are worried about whether the person you're with is actually your soulmate or not. If you don't know, it's okay that you don't know right now. Just don't worry. Try to get more sleep. If that's what's keeping you up at night, <laughs> how do we resolve that? If that's why you're losing sleep, because you're just not sure. Um, it says if you're not feeling optimistic and like just have blind faith that they are, then they're likely not. And... Um, you know, relationships are going to be work no matter what, but if you have to really fight to keep this relationship going, that's not the right person, okay? So that's really hard news to hear, but it's saying, oh, goodness, so here's where we started, right? It's saying that's the reason why you're not emotionally fulfilled by it. I mean, every relationship is going to have challenges, but if you're in a relationship, we have to constantly beg the other person to um, stop treating you wrong, to stop cheating, to show you more love and affection, then they're not the right person for you is kind of what that's saying. If you're not getting what you need from the relationship, it is time to just move forward. And that's hard to hear. And I'm sorry, but, um, you know, this is for your highest good. Okay. Now, 
For single Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, what do we have November 7th through December 7th? Awesome! This is a great time to really be excited about being single, to get out there, to um, be excited about what's going to come into your life, the people you're going to meet, that sort of a thing. It's You see how he has the feather in his cap? It's like... If you heard that expression, like, he's got a feather in his cap, like, he's excited to be here, like, he's excited about what he's doing, he's got a bounce in his step, that's you. Um, and this one is about doing things differently, um, trying new things, going new places, um, being more social, for sure, but also, like, I can see for some of you, um, maybe, you know, buying yourself a new dress and going out with some friends, and, and maybe you meet someone. Um, oh, wow. So it's like, if you... If you can take some time to maybe join a club, to just do things that you haven't done in a while, um, go new places, like even if it's just like, gosh, I don't have time to go out at night and meet people and mingle, or that's not really my thing, like I don't like clubs, I don't like bars, um, this is like even like, you know what, I'm going to stop at the coffee shop today. I look cute today, I'm going to stop there, like... This is you winning. This is you like finding somebody if you're looking for them. So that's really great. Now, like I said, in the couples, if you skipped over it, it's a general reading. So this is for the majority. It might not resonate for everybody. It might not happen for everybody. But um, for at least somebody, <laughs> this is what's going to happen. Um, this is saying that the next person that you meet could be very... Um, they could seem kind of aggressive or seem a little bit serious, okay? But that they're a very honest person and a really good communicator, so don't let that frighten you. Um, this is saying don't let that frighten you. <laughs> How funny is that? Okay, what else for single Virgos? November 7th through December 7th. Yikes, that one's way down there. Okay. So um, if you're dating people like on and off, it's nothing serious, you know, maybe you're on Tinder or something like that, and you just, there's something that just doesn't feel right, disharmony, um, chaos, like somebody just doesn't rub you the right way, just totally be honest about it. You might have a hard time, like you might have a tendency to just ghost people or something like that because you don't want to hurt their feelings, but their feelings are going to be hurt either way, right? Um, it's just saying like, be honest. And, like, don't try to, like, wait and see if it gets better, or see if you misunderstood, or you judge them too harshly, things like that, because that's for your highest good, is basically what, that, what that's saying. Now, um, it's saying here, though, because this is what's hiding, right? It's saying that the, <laughs> the hidden reason why you might not always do that is because you don't want to have to defend yourself. Like, you could, for example, maybe you go out to eat with somebody, okay, and the way that they chew their food is just the most disgusting thing to you and <laughs> so you don't have to tell them that's the reason it's just that you have to say you know what like you're really great there's a lot of things I like about you I just don't and this is going well you didn't do anything wrong it's just that I don't find us compatible that would be the way to do it so that you don't have to defend it like defend your choice or hurt anyone um, worse um, <laughs> yeah, the thing, like, some of you, remember how, where we started, it said, like, really get excited about meeting new people so that you can do that this month. This is saying some of you just don't believe that it can happen. You don't have that blind faith and optimism that some, somebody wonderful could just show up. Um, but somebody wonderful isn't going to show up if that's kind of the attitude that you have. And if you're not putting yourself in appropriate situations in which you can meet people like if you're at home all day like I work from home a lot of the time so um for example for me like I'd have to make an effort to like go grocery shopping I shouldn't be ordering my groceries on Amazon you know um this is just like your angels telling you though going back a step to where we were about maybe when you're dating people um you have a tendency maybe this month to try to give people second, third chances, like maybe because you want to be in a relationship. So you're like, well, there's nothing really wrong with that person. Like the thing, maybe I could get over how much, how annoying that thing is. And then saying you probably can't. So you should just like 
walk away <laughs> so that you can um, try out the next person and hopefully they're better for you. Yeah, it's saying, you know, <laughs> traditionally you are one to give more <laughs> more chances, but take but take a chance on this advice and, you know, just, just see what happens and see if you're happier. Um, now, some of you feel kind of icky because maybe the reason why somebody just doesn't seem compatible to you is they don't make a good income or they don't have a job and you're like, well, they're job hunting, so, eh, but that's really on my list of things that I need in a partner. Um, they're saying don't feel icky about that. Like you don't have to, um, cause you know, if it felt so right, it wouldn't be an issue, right? So it's okay. <laughs> it's saying like, but you kind of feel shallow and like a gold digger by saying that, and, but it's not, it's not that it's just, they're not the right one. Um, so keep looking. What else for singles this month? Because some of you maybe aren't even dating. Um, some of you have just become single in a very um, dramatic sort of way. <laughs> and maybe you're wondering if your partner is going to come back. You know, like, well, we had to go through this breakup. Take some time apart to see if we can come back together. Now, um, I think if you come back together right now between November 7th and December 7th, it'll just be more of a shit storm. It'll be more chaos and drama again. Um, it's just, you know, this time try, try it different. If you've, remember how we talked in the beginning about some people are um, in between, on again, off again. If that's been what you've done, please try it differently, at least for this period of time. Um, if you walk away and then, you know, like a week later, you get a text message or they show up at your house or something like that and you're like, okay, yeah, let's talk it out. Let's try this again. Um, I think this time, if you could just take that whole month off and then reassess in a month and see where you're at, trying to just, you know, stay single that month, you'll go within and you will find, you'll have like an epiphany, you know, like you'll find a bright light inside of you that'll kind of guide you towards where you're supposed to be. Um, what else for singles? Yeah, because it's saying with that person, you just can't, you're not going to have your happily ever after with that on again, off again person, unfortunately. Now, this is a general reading, so if you'd like a personal one to, to reassure you, I'm more than happy to do that. Um, but goodness. Okay. What else for single Virgos? Yeah, we're back where we started. Just really be excited about going out and meeting new people. And this one um, has a lot to do with clothes too. So maybe if you are out shopping at the mall, you could meet somebody there. Um, but yeah, I feel like clothing has something to do with fabric. Somebody may meet someone like shopping for furniture, like looking at fabric swatches, like at Ikea, like looking at curtains or something, or um, like Pier One, maybe <laughs> something like that. Or it could just be shopping, you know, like, like I, I really see someone like at Nordstrom or something. I don't know if everybody has one of those near you, but, and then just some handsome person like showing up, like a handsome or beautiful person just kind of showing up and saying, what do you think about this? What do you think about this outfit? <laughs> you know? Um, oh, how cute. So this is, if you are one of those who does take the time to go out, try new things, um, you know, like make an effort to be in public places, you really could find what you're looking for. You could get what you wish for as far as a person goes. And especially if you've been making affirmations about the kind of person that you want in your life, so could find them. So could find them November 7th through December 7th. So best of luck to you. I hope you all find your soulmates this month. Um, love and light. And I will see you, I guess, tomorrow for the daily readings. Bye.